What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be doing a video for how to install Halo 2 for Windows Vista on Windows 7. Uh, it seems that the video I did previously um, was running into issues for Windows 7 users and I believe I found a, uh, a method to be able to get it working. Uh, first of all, shout out to Super Sniper of Halo2Vista.com for assisting me with this uh, issue and being able to find a resolution been a big help with me to uh, be able to figure out how we can get this game running for Windows 7 users. Alright, so uh, first things first, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go ahead and uninstall Halo 2. So I'm going to click Start, Control Panel, Uninstall Halo 2. Yes. Should only take a brief moment. By the way, um, I am using Windows 7. If you notice that the desktop is different from my other videos. So, um, as you see, you'll be witnessing how it will actually be working on Windows 7. It's going to take a few minutes here. Shouldn't be too much longer, I would imagine. We'll have the game uninstalled. And then we can proceed. Okay. The uninstall complete. Alright, next I'm going to click Start and go to Computer. And go to C Drive. And then what you want to do is you want to go under your user profile, and you want to go to app data. Now, if you don't have app data uh, visible, what you want to do is you want to hit the Alt key on your keyboard to bring up this menu. Go to Tools, Folder Options, go to the View tab, and make sure that Show Hidden Files is highlighted. Also, while you're here, uncheck the Hide Extension so that we can actually see the .exe, um, .reg stuff like that. It's really important. It's really nifty to have this unchecked so that you can actually see what kind of file types you're looking at. Once you're done setting this up, click apply and then click OK. Alright, so now you should be able to see the add data folder. What you want to do is you want to go into that, go to local, scroll down to Microsoft, scroll all the way down to XLive, and then go to the titles folder. And you might not have anything in here, chances are you probably will. Um, what you want to do is you want to, if you, if you do have something in this folder, I do advise copying it and pasting it somewhere else. Um, because if you have other games especially that are games from Windows Live based, if you delete the whole titles folder you'll end up losing the the keys that were assigned to those games previously and have to re-enter those keys again to reactivate those games. So make sure to back up these folders um, th if there's anything in here. Otherwise go ahead and back it out and then delete the titles folder entirely. So when you use shift enter to do a permanent delete, click yes to that and now that's done. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to click Start now and go to Reg Edit, which is sort for Registry Editor. I'm going to open this up now. When you get here, um, you want to have the window look like this. So you may have to uh, you might have to set the the folders back to this position. What you want to do is you want to go to H key Classes Root, and expand that. And then you want to scroll all the way down to get to Software. It's probably going to be a nice long list, but uh, just you should be able to get to the dimensions. It's all in alphabetical order. Then we go to software and expand that. And then you want to expand Microsoft. And then you want to go to the XLive folder. And what you want to do is you want to delete this entire folder. Okay, so um, one thing I actually did forget to mention if you don't have any registry backups, you want to go ahead and do that now. So to back up the registry, click File, Export set the export range to all and then type a name so let's call it reg save back up the registry real quick this is important because since the registry is a, um, a cautious place to be you want to make sure that it's um, you want to make sure that everything's backed up in case something bad happens which shouldn't uh, nothing should nothing bad should happen but never know okay so once the uh, cursor stops loading should be good to go now we're going to go ahead and delete the xlive key and we're going to close that out for now. Let's see here. Make sure my internet's still up. Okay. Alright, now um, <clears throat> if you don't already have this installed, Games for Windows Marketplace client, go ahead and download this now and go ahead and install it. The installer will take a couple minutes, but it's automated. It will um, basically take care of itself. And once it gets to the end, you'll be presented with a launch and close button. Just go ahead and click close, and you'll be good to go there. All right. 
now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the game. Let's see. So let's launch startup.exe and do a custom customized game install. Full install only, do not start. Continue. My internet went out for a second. Okay. All right. So um, now, for those of you who are first time, like ever doing this installation, after this window fades away, uh, you're actually going to see a product activation window. What you want to do is you want to paste in the key that I'll provide in the description below and click next. And then what's going to happen is in a few seconds, you're going to be presented with an activation error. It's going to give you three options. The option you want to pick is, is activate by telephone. And once you select activate by telephone, what you want to do is you want to follow the prompts that it provides. So the first prompt is to select the region that you're based in. So select the United States for most cases or select another region that you, that you are living in. And then uh, you want to call a toll-free number. Now, if you call the toll-free number and the number is not the Microsoft product activation line, which is completely automated, then go ahead and select the uh, select the uh, United States as your region, and then call that number. All right. Um, it is important to have the game activated. There's another way to activate, but for this, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do the telephone activation because it seems to be the easiest way to get it done. All right. So once you get that, um, once you get, once you start calling the number, the automated system will guide you completely. You're gonna read. You're gonna type in the string of numbers that's only gonna be on your screen, and then after you do all that, in a few seconds, the automated system will say verified, and then it will give you a confirmation ID. You'll type all those th in th between boxes A through H, and after that, click next, and then it should say. Halo 2 for Windows Vista has been successfully activated. And then once you do that, the, the installation will continue. Um, most cases, when you're doing the telephone activation, the installation should be running in the background. So you may not even, it might be completely installed by the time you even get done with that. But if not, you know, it shouldn't be much longer. So right now I'm just going to wait a few moments while I go ahead and uh, complete my installation.
Okay, so now the installation is complete. And I'm going to click OK. Alright, now I'm going to go to the Windows 7 Halo 2 PC activation folder. That's provided in the description below. First things you want to do, you want to go ahead and merge step one dot reg. So right click on it and click merge and run. And you're gonna get this this uh, information window right here. Uh, go ahead and click yes to that and then click OK. Okay. And now we, what you want to do is go ahead and open up the key gen. and hit the generate serial button and uh, select any key doesn't really matter just pick a key and copy that and you go ahead and uh, actually go ahead and close this window alright now at this point we're going to go ahead and start Halo 2 so I'm going to click start type in Halo 2 and hit Halo 2 from Windows Vista launch that now what we're going to do is when the game launches, we're going to go and do an account sign-in. Uh, if this is your first time and you don't have any games for Windows Live, uh, games on your prior, then what you want to do is you want to do a uh, sign-in your profile. Or if you don't have any Xbox accounts, period, then you'll need to go to the Microsoft or well, the Xbox.com website to create an account. Uh, silver accounts will work on Halo 2, so if you have a silver account, you can play on here perfectly fine. If you have a gold account, you can play on it perfectly fine too. Um, those restrictions were set. Those, restri those restrictions are actually re removed several years back, so um, silver and gold accounts can both play with each other online. Alright, so now, once this comes up, I'll go ahead and sign to my account. Use Control V to paste the entire key in the generator and submit. All right, and as you see, the key went through and it was bypassed. So now I can go ahead and update my client, which I want to do now. Alright, so now the game is being patched to the latest version, which is version 1.04.129. And in a few seconds, the game will restart. Now, when the game restarts, we're going to go ahead and quit out of the game as soon as we get the opportunity. And we'll apply the Step 2 registry file right after. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and quit out. Alright, now that the game's quit out, I'm going to go back to the Windows 7 HTPC activation folder and merge step 2. Now what step 2 does is it clears out the PCID. Click the wrong thing here. Um, it clears out the PCID so that your computer that your game will actually assign you your very own unique PCID when you start the game up again, which is really important because um, having your own PCID will cause you to not get disconnected from games. It's pretty much a unique thing that's required to be able to play online smoothly. All right, so now that we've merged that, we can go ahead and restart the game, and we're just about done. Just got to do one or two more checks, and then we'll be good to go.
Okay, so I'm going to sign back into my live account. Okay, so I'm still able to sign in, which is perfect. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings, and then go to about. Make sure that your product ID is not all zeros. If it starts with zeros, it's fine, but make sure it's just not completely zero. And of course, this is the last game version update. So, which that should have already been applied when you uh, signed your account the first time. Okay. All right, so we'll go to live to make sure that I can actually see the servers. And it's early in the morning, so there's really not a lot of activity going on. But sure enough, um, games are loading, so it seems like everything's working fine now. All right, so um, this has been tested for uh, lengthy connect, lengthy sessions. It seems like it haven't had any, haven't had any disconnects, um, and lengthy sessions at all. Basically, just mean it being able to stay in games pretty much the whole time. So, uh, seems like this method will work 100% for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you're not able to um, get activate it or if you're running into disconnection issues all right guys so hope this all works out well hope you guys can finally experience Hills of vista really great game uh it seems like it's undermined but it's got a lot of great features and there's a lot of cool stuff in the future for it anyways thank you guys for watching this video and i hope that uh, you'll be able to play Halo 2 vista soon all right guys have a nice great have a nice day